Here we go! Every time, he nails it. No wonder why you have children. You just never miss, my friend. <laughs> right? That was What an insane. experience. Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to Daily Driven Exotics. Dave's crammed back into the front seat of the Huracan Spider. Good morning, guys. Today, though, we get to drop the top. We're excited, we're about to hit the road. We're heading over to VF Engineering. We're gonna meet up with Samuel Hubinet. He is a pro Formula D drift car driver. He is, I believe, retired from that sport. However, he's a maniac behind the wheel. He owns a Lamborghini Huracan. It's almost identical to mine with the, the body kit and the supercharger now, but he's got a handbrake, it's nuts. If you haven't seen his video, I'll put a link in the description of one of their craziest videos that they did at Newport Lamborghini. His wife's the mad woman behind the wheel also. Anyhow, today they have a brand new, well not brand new, but they have a brand new supercharger on their BMW E92, and Sam's invited us to come out and play with him. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head over to VF Engineering. Let's take the top though off the Huracan first. There we go. Oh, I love it. Let's hit the road. Sounds like way better with the top down. Yeah, it's quiet. It's quiet with the roof up, which was lot nice last night. We had a long day yesterday. It was long. We made a crazy video. Look at that. It's like an open top. This makes me want one, except for the lack of room. There's a significant amount of more room in the coupe. <laughs> Tunnel. Well, not really a tunnel. Overpass. Never stood a chance. Come out. This compound that where VF Engineering is is pretty rad. That's where Sam was doing all the drifting when we were here around this building, if you guys didn't know. Right, How are you doing, Nick? Very good, Damon. Hi. That that Dave. color is stunning. When it's washed. <laughs> <laughs> so what's the plan, sir? You know this area. Well, we got to talk about that and see what we want to do. All right. <laughs> Sorry, wrong gear. Sorry, wrong our bad. Gear? All right, we'll right, do it one more time. I did that on purpose. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like that? Yeah, I like it. Is it reverse? Except. It would have been even better if you hit the truck too. <laughs> Is that all-wheel drive? Uh, no, it takes off quick. It does. No. All right, we're gonna follow him. Go have some fun. What's the definition of? Snakes me. <laughs> Wow. This is awesome. This is awesome. It's beautiful out. So I was gonna ask you because my audience and people might wonder like, who are you? What do you do? I mean, I brought you up once in a video and yeah. it was brief and we didn't have time to really do a whole lot other than you did those drifts around the VF engineering building. Your career in basically that led into stunt driving, which is what you do now. You were a pro uh, race car driver in Formula D. Starting in Sweden as a test drive for Volvo Car Corporation, getting to stunt driving with them already in 1992. I was with Volvo Car Corporation for nine years, but always had a, 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 a dream of pursuing Hollywood. So I quit my job, moved to LA, knocked on doors. It was hard to get become a stunt driver because, hey, I'm Sam, I'm from Sweden, I can drive good. Okay, there's a line, 2,000 guys behind there. When I heard about drifting, I was like, oh, I've been sliding cars my whole life in Sweden. No hands. <laughs> so what I can do, that should hopefully open up doors into the Hollywood industry. It did. Uh, I became the Niagara champion of Formula Drift 2004. Who'd you drive for? Uh, Dodge, Mopar. And what were you driving? A Viper. <laughs> a, 
a Viper. This yeah. guy's professionally drifting Vipers. I mean, it was a, it was a tough car to drift because there's no steering angle, a lot of horsepower, a lot of grip like this. So we had to modify it, try to make it as driftable as possible because those cars are just made to go straight and fast on a racetrack. And then uh, we got into Hollywood really because Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift was happening. They needed drifters in that in the in the movie. So myself, Rich Millen, Rich Rutherford, Tanner Files, we got to become on the the drifters and doubling a lot of the actors in that movie. And that opened up connections with the other stunt drivers and stuntmen in the industry. And I'm a huge fan, like huge fan of Fast and the Furious. Yeah. When that movie came out, I was just this is how this is how a big of a fan I was. My oldest daughter, my first daughter, her name's Mia, after Vin Diesel's sister character in that movie. Okay, wow, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you know, I was uh, obviously, like a lot of people, pretty upset when uh, Paul passed away. Absolutely. But that whole franchise really, I think, changed the way people saw um, the car industry went from a tuner perspective. And it just changed everything, really. Though that whole franchise announced about drifting, not in a no, in a in a competition way, but at least people knew. Oh, drifting is sliding a car in a corner, and uh, as a professional drifter, that was cool to see people around the world actually knowing what drifting as a sport was. So that helped us too. You know, like you said, at one point, it was nothing over here in North America, and yep. then Formula, you know, drift came, and it really took off after after it took a few years to kind of catch on yeah of course it was a, it was it was known in our community uh, we had a six to ten thousand spectators at a lot of the events but it wasn't mainstream what, what are you doing now uh, we, we make a living driving cars for mainly TV ad so you have to be really on it and really be the best of the best in some of the you know, niche Drifting was my way to get into that too. Right. That's what you're doing, making car commercials. And you have two vehicles that you use to practice with. Yeah. One is the BMW E92 M3 behind us that is supercharged by VF Engineering. Yep. Which is really neat because it's front engine, rear wheel drive. Yeah. But then you also have the identical car basically to myself, which is, uh, what year's yours? Is that a- It's a 2016. Yeah, 16. Yeah. Uh, Huracan. LP580, it started out life as, it's the Dash 2, so it's rear wheel drive. Yep. Also supercharged by VF Engineering. Mm -hmm. um, Vorsteiner Novara kit, beautiful yep. body kit. Yeah, I love it too. Uh, Vorsteiner wheels. And then you use that to drift and do stunts. Yeah. I mean, so this car, um, we were gonna do a quick example on this road that we're gonna shut down here in a second. We're just waiting for a few people. But we're gonna show an example of this car drifting because I mean, you have crazy control with this, being that it's front engine, it's got better steer angle than the yes. Lamborghini. Uh, it's a great uh, stunt, drifting, uh, training car. Balanced. Yeah, balanced. It's not a super torquey machine. I, I, it lacks some low end torque for sure, this V8, but with the supercharger that we put on from VF, yeah. now we got some more power. And uh, I put some little narrow Nito tires in the back to get some less traction. I like that. You were telling me that there's a, a pro tip, okay? I thought with my Lamborghini, it was just insanely hard to drift all the time, especially at higher speeds, because it either had, it was either gripping or it was just completely loose. And the, the kind of the window, you know, where you could catch it and hold it was really narrow. Yep. And then Sam said, well, just put smaller tires on the back. I was like, that makes so <laughs> much sense. Yeah, it's all, yeah. So you go from a 305, stock tire to yep. a 285. Yeah, 285 is what I run on my Huracan. So what do you do on this car? I'm actually running 245s instead of like 265s or 275s. You know, take it down a you know, couple steps. Right, and just that little bit makes a huge difference. Yeah, and there are different compounds and different tires too. Slightly so, harder? Yes, so higher tr tread wear. You look in the side, if it's 100 super grippy, 300 less grip. So the tread wear on the side, on each tire, you can see the number. Higher number, less uh, grip. And I would imagine that the price goes down a little the bit. Price too. goes down and they last longer too. <laughs> they last longer. So all around pro tip, that's how you guys can get uh, better drifting performance out of your vehicle. Go with a slightly narrower tire, harder compound, and uh, we'll save you some money. So I think we're good to go. We'll set everything up yeah. and we'll show you guys a couple of slides with Sam in the E92 M3. Sounds good. Let's do it.
It's time for the official ride along, you guys. Oh, wait until you see this from a POV perspective. Holy, that is so intense. Oh my God. Dave's going for it, he has to go for a ride. That is so intense and crazy. Like, it is just nuts how that 60 miles, that's 100 kilometers an hour, and he's spinning that car around. Every time, he nails it. Yeah. That was the best one ever. <laughs> Look how close it is. <laughs> what? <laughs> that is crazy. That's stunt driving, my friend. That's why he gets paid the big bucks. What an Insane. experience. I'm awake now. <laughs> well, hey, you guys, we gotta give a huge thank you to Sam for coming out. Make well sure you go and follow them on Instagram, both of him and his wife. His wife does all of this stuff too. Yeah, she it's does. It's impressive. She's crazy. We'll have her come out on a video and we'll have them do a husband wife dance together in the Absolutely. two cars. Uh, I will link their Instagrams in the description. Is there anything else that, that people can follow you on or is that just the main thing? It's main thing, yeah. Okay. Oh, good. Hey. We've been at Stunts is our website, but yeah, Instagram is where we really. I'll put that link in there too. Sure. Thanks for watching you guys. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments below. I, I, I'm speechless, like Dave. <laughs> have a good day, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Peace.